Mm -hmm. Well, I'm stating the obvious, but you're disappointed to lose out to an experienced and do United team today. Yeah, I don't think we, we hit the standards we have done previous games. We're miles better than what we played today. But saying that, I thought first half um, for Dundee United to go in 2 0 up was a wee bit flattering. I don't think there was much between the teams. If anything, we probably shaded the first half. Um, but you've got to defend better and you've got to react better when you when you go when you go behind and lose goals. Certainly, even in terms of position in the first half, is it the uh, finishing touch that was missing today? Yeah, no, you've got to give credit to Dundee United as well. Um, they worked hard, they got behind the ball. Um, obviously they've got a lot of pace in their team in the counter attack as well but second half we were, we were far too open and they were breaking on us and that's just a wee bit of game management sometimes and how you play you play your position taking up and doing the right things um, not just doing your, your own with the way you want to play I mentioned the experience in the, the new United team maybe one or two clever free kicks one for them but still weren't defended as you would have wanted them no, uh, well, you can look at all the goals and pick holes and all the goals. You've got to defend well in this league first and foremost, so we will look at it and hopefully learn from it as well. Um, but the main thing for us is to get back playing to the performance levels we have done earlier in the season. Um, sometimes you're going to get results like that where maybe um, the game doesn't go your way and you get the first goal and you've just got to make sure that it doesn't affect you and you come back even stronger. Tried to shake things up at the start of the second half, brought Callum Smith on. It made a difference late on. Smith got the consolation goal, but too little, too late. It was a great finish, but we never done enough for that today. We never made them defend enough, and that's unusual for us because going forward, we've been we've been really good this year. We've created a lot of chances, got in some really good areas, and maybe it was a wee bit of frustration because they're not been behind a lot this year. It's uh, you start doing things that obviously doesn't suit the way we play. Missing one or two options today, you get a feeling that was a game Joe Cardo would have enjoyed today, but you've got to go with the players you've got. Well, every player, every team's going to lose some of their players for some part of the season, whether it's injuries, suspensions, loss of form. So that happens sometimes and we've got to deal with it. I think we've got a good squad, players capable of coming in and playing. Um, but I don't think anyone hit the standards they have been since the start of the season. Um, we've just got to make sure we get back on track next week. As you say, you're back in action change of competition next week with the Andrew Cup away to Falkirk, always an interesting one and you're going to have to change the back anyway, players away on international call. It's great for the club when you've got that many players away, um, it just shows you how well they've been doing, um, so it's, it's obviously a bonus for the club and guys that are away on international duty and it gives us a chance for maybe some guys to come in and um, obviously make a stake for the t uh, place in the team. Ryan Williamson, particularly mentioned for him. Definitely under call up to the under twenty ones. No, he's been fantastic. Um, going forward, you can see the quality he brings. He set up a lot of goals this year. Um, so hopefully he gets again. It's a couple of big games for Scotland, so it'll be a great opportunity for him. And you can see Callum Smith's going into a lot of confidence as well. And Stuart Morrison's obviously playing a lot of games for Edinburgh City. So it's it's great for the club when these boys are getting recognised. And a long way to go in the league, obviously, but you, you pick yourselves up and start again in two weeks' time. The league's really competitive, uh, quite easily. I've said that numerous times, five or six teams could win the league. There's going to be results like that throughout the season, unfortunately, but um, it's how you pick yourself up, how you react to that. And you can see the boys we've got in the dressing room, they're, they're disappointed with today. They know they can do miles better, uh, both individually and collectively, and I'm sure we will. Thanks, Alan. Thanks.